biblical femininity that's one of my goals to explore every aspect of the woman that i am that god created but before i delve into this i thought to first mention that i recently started a new skincare routine by the time this video is up it will be about a week and a few days since i started it earlier this year i mentioned that it was one of my goals to tackle the white heads that i get on my face and i tried out a new skincare routine treatment recommended by a pharmacist what he gave me seemed to work for a while but it felt quite harsh and it appeared like it was just zapping out the oil from my face and leaving my skin dry when it finished i didn't feel motivated to want to continue with it so recently i thought to do more than eating right and drinking water to try out another routine i went to a store to get products and i couldn't find all i wanted thankfully because it made me go to another pharmacy where i saw this lovely pharmacist that recommended the new products that i am currently exploring and i must say that it has been so good even though the experience feels new as you can see <laughs> it is interesting so back to biblical femininity there are several aspects that are so interesting to learn from from being nurturers to being helpmates to many more aspects that presently the society thinks are backward but today i want to focus solely on beauty in the biblical lens it's from the word of god that we know that beauty is skin deep the true beauty that god desires is from inward reflecting outward and I will take our time to explore this in another video. But I want to focus on the other aspect today, especially for someone who has battled with acne, whiteheads, off and on from puberty. A lot of times, people do not understand that some of us try out many things to get rid of these to no avail. It doesn't mean that we are not mindful of it, because a lot of times you find people coming to you and touching your face and asking why it is that you're not doing anything about it when the opposite is usually the case for a lot of us and i find this bothersome especially for younger girls who face several kinds of pressure who face the pressure of trying to feel accepted by the standard of the society's beauty and then they try to focus a lot on the outward beauty that they neglect the other things that they neglect the most important things i think it's important that people should be more mindful so as not to damage the self-esteem of teen girls especially who are clueless about the workings of their body in death i think that as much as it is essential to keep working at getting a clear skin we should redefine beauty we need to redefine beauty to align with the core things that depict true beauty skin deep it is essential that we look after our bodies it is essential that we take care of it the best way we can knowing that we are honoring god through that it's important that we do not mask behind being modest and neglect paying attention to our body outward beauty should be characterized by neatness a modest outlook great smell but the icing on top should be the beauty in character that naturally oozes out to the surface that acne, skin burns, skin defects and the likes cannot hide because in the end, charm is deceitful and beauty is vain but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised I daily seek for wholeness in every aspect of my life I think of biblical women, especially people like my namesake Rebecca to Sarah to Esther and even the Proverbs that one woman and it's almost as if that wholesome feminine nature is extinct there is an extreme of everything some extreme on just the outward beauty some are extreme on appearing modest but being judgmental of those who seem to focus on the outward and then another extreme who do not want to explore any aspect of being feminine leaving the natural use of the woman like the bible puts it but i think that our goal as women is to pursue the wholesomeness and biblical femininity digging into the depths of this is one interesting path women need to explore i'm certain that it will open 
your eyes to see the awesomeness that we are as created by our maker God Almighty. So for me, the motto abstractly is pursuing biblical femininity in my body, in my mind, and most especially in my spirit. I hope that this video has positively inspired you, whether as a man or as a woman, to encourage, to explore biblical femininity in all of its entirety. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed so that you can join my YouTube family. Thank you so much for your encouraging words and for everything that you do. God bless you real good to have an amazing weekend and a blessing filled week ahead. Take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.